welcome back ringside at the South End Leisure and Tennis Centre. We are now ready for the main event of the evening. Ten rounds for the Southern Area light welterweight title. George Smith defending his title against Anthony Campbell from Shepherd's Bush in West London. A guy with a pretty patchy record, but a lot of, a lot of his losses coming early on his card. And the feeling is he's in the best form of his career. Here is Campbell. Well, he's coming into the other guy's backyard. Most fans here are definitely pro Georgie Smith, but Campbell looks very focused and very determined. This guy's up for it tonight. This guy wants to win the title. To say he feels hot and cold with this. He's a formidable opponent. He's dangerous. He can punch. He's tough. So George is going to have to be on his best form tonight. This guy looks really mean. He really does look the part, doesn't he? Here for business. But I tell you what, he's going to have his hands full because Georgie Smith is not about to relinquish that title in a hurry. And there's no mistaking Georgie Smith. He's got an even more distinctive hairstyle than Dave McCauley's. <laughs> and that really is saying something. Yeah. And I'd say 99% of the people in this auditorium The defending champion. And they're on their feet here in the auditorium. champion. Let's go over to our MC Alan Hughes for the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the main attraction of the evening, promoted by Barry Hearn for Matchroom Boxing, sponsored by Acclaim Entertainment. Your British Board Control student in charge is John Handelaar, your timekeeper, Ray Rice. Ladies and gentlemen, when the bell rings and the action begins, the man in charge of the poor corner ring Larry O'Connell of Kent. This is a light world awake contest at 10 stone over 10 rounds each of three minutes duration for the Southern Area Light World Awake title. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing in the red corner with a red shorts with a white trim, 12 wins and three draws from 24 contests. Ladies and gentlemen, four come inside the distance and weighed in at 9 stone, 12 pounds, 6 ounces from Shepherd Bush. Will you welcome the challenger for the title, Anthony Pendle! And ladies and gentlemen, across the ring, in the green corner with a white shot with a red cross, with an outstanding professional record, 12 wins from 12 Eight by way of the big KO, a waiting at 10 stone on the button. Ladies and gentlemen, making the first defense of his title, they are welcome the reigning Tavaria, like world Eight champion, the pride of Basildon, St. Jose Jamil. Well, we're in no doubt at all 
who the fans want in this one. Tremendous atmosphere. Larry O'Connell is our referee. And uh, George has had his, his hair cut since we last yeah. saw him, hasn't he? <laughs> Looks very civilised. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one really promises to be a cracker. Anthony Campbell, the challenger, who certainly looked the part coming in, but Georgie Smith, as you could see there, absolutely brimming with confidence. And having the title and an undefeated record will do that for you. Scheduled for ten. How often have we seen down the years, it's these area title fights that produce the most thrilling action. Fellas on the way up, fellas looking to make a name for themselves. For Georgie Smith, of course, this, another stepping stone on what he hopes is a path to something much bigger. For Anthony Campbell, of course, this a chance to establish himself as a genuine contender in his own right. It reminds me, Campbell, on, did you ever see the Rocky movie with uh, Clubber Lang in it? I didn't see that one, though. Did you? Oh, no. That must have been Rocky was, 17. Right? No, no, Rocky 3. <laughs> Rocky 3. Rocky 3 or Rocky 2. He's like a cut-down version of... Well, it'll be quite a Rocky story if Campbell comes out of this one with a win. That will be quite an upset. Both fighters do what everybody does here now. They're just feeding each other right? just seeing what your weaknesses are and your strength. Just taking things nice and easy in the first round. And it's an intelligent start, as you say, Dave, by both these fellows. There was so much in adrenaline and excitement flowing around that when the bell starts, if you come out going crazy, you can get yourself in trouble quickly. They both calmed down and settled down very early, haven't they? Yeah, well, this, this, this is a sign of experience. Both are, 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 are quite experienced fighters. Both want to get there. Campbell wants to re re-establish himself as, as what you said earlier on is right and Georgie he wants to get the word tight and stakes himself so these these guys are both have got they want something they want the same thing they want success but everyone here tonight is a hungry as a man will come out the top good combinations from Smith Smith has a devastating right hand but Campbell's keeping his left hand very high. It's very hard for, for Smith to get through with the right hand. A little left jab from Campbell, who's certainly been busy in this opening session. And definitely not going to be intimidated by this crowd. Or by Smith. Good left hand from Smith. But they look a couple of accomplished pros these two Smith leading the way and Campbell looking for the counters it's got the makings of a good one this Dave hasn't it yeah it has and they're both starting now they've done enough uh, uh, sussing each other out they're starting now to throw punch now with a wee bit of ferocity now it's going to be a good one End of a very interesting first round. A long way to go, and this young man, Georgie Smith, looking to defend the title. And a guy that's really rebuilt his career after well, his fairly well-documented drug problems that he had. He's, he's put all that behind him, and he, he really has come out stronger for it as well. Well, he realises he realizes the capabilities that he's got, and it would be a shame to put them to waste. The fella knows he has the potential to, to go the whole way, so it's up to himself. He's put all that behind him now, and he's knuckled down now, and he's given this 110%. This is what he has to do. If he wants to, if you, if you want all the rich rewards that boxing brings, you have to knuckle down. You do anything you want when you retire, but you have to get there first to do that. Yeah, it's 100%, isn't it? Yeah. There's, 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 there's just no way you can cut corners because you'll get found out sooner or later. Yeah, why? No doubt about that. Like, give it all, give it all, or else get out. You know, you're only wasting your time if you don't. Smith faced that crossroads for himself and decided. No, I want to make something of my life, which is why he's in here, which is why he's the area champion, and who knows what else is yet to come. Good right hand from Campbell, gets a response from Smith. That shook, that shook Smith up. And that'll give Campbell a lot of heart. Didn't seem a lot to it, Dave, but it definitely shook Campbell. No, uh, just, Smith, rather. Just a nice sweet club on right hand. No great, no, no great power, but obviously he carries a bit of power in his hand, this guy. So. Maybe he just didn't look as hard to us. He 
you tend to think, oh, they have to be thrown from the back of the hole to do damage. Some guys can throw them short and have as much success as the guys who throw them from the back of the hole. He's a strong guy, can't believe, like, not to be underrated. I think he's had 12 wins, he's 24 fights, he's a tough guy. He's not a pushover. That's I mean, why he's fighting for the title or, or challenging for the title tonight. And he mixed in pretty good company, and the feeling is within the game, he's better than that record suggests. Well, he's been he's, he's in with some uh, good fighters, so therefore, as you said, Nick, the record might not just suggest how good he really is. Oh. Good shot again, the right hand of oh. Smith in trouble. And he's holding on here, that was a great combination. Well, Smith in all sorts of trouble here in the second round. He's proved himself to be resilient. He had to get off the floor to win this title. That was in the second round. He nearly hit the deck in the second round here. Great right hand. Eyes are still a wee bit glazed. He just hasn't recovered 100% yet. He just wants to... What you do is you hang on, you move, you stay out of trouble. For Rentals, hang on. Don't mix it until your head's fully recovered. He has to keep that left hand a wee bit higher, because that right hand is dangerous from Campbell. Well, Smith knows that now, if he didn't know it before. He wobbled and nearly went. And that is going to give Campbell all the encouragement he needs. His eyes fixed on his opponent. He's come here to win this title, make no mistake. And Smith out of range there. This hasn't been a good round for the champion. No, he still looks a wee bit dazed to me. He, the that... right hand in again, and he's wide open to it. And he's got to get that left hand up, Smith, because Campbell's getting through with the right at will. The right hand connects again. Oh, and Smith's got to rethink his strategy here. This is a tough round for Smith. He just has to gather his thoughts, stay out of trouble, move around the ring, don't mix it. A good round for the challenger. He had his man in trouble, and he's taken the crowd right out of this fight. And if anybody thought Anthony Campbell was going to be an easy opponent, they know better now. Not a good round for Georgie Smith. All the damage there done by his opponent, Anthony Campbell. Lovely, lovely right hands. He cut, here we go here now. White says, come over, just comes over, White says, bang. Hit him in the neck, but still, it was a powerful shot. Smith is a wee bit too open to these right hands. He's going to have to, here we, here we come from a different angle again. White says, now, here it comes. There it is again, that's a good, strong right hand. You have to be, oh, very, 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 keep that left hand very high. But move, he wants to move round to his right. He's moving into that point, if he moves away from it. This is a dangerous guy, this, very dangerous. And Smith is going to have to tighten up his defence, because he's not going to take another eight rounds of that. Round three, scheduled for ten, for the Southern Area Light Welterweight Belt. Currently in the possession of Georgie Smith. See, Georgie's moving into the right hand all the time. He can move it round to his own right. Stay away from, from Campbell's right hand. Move, move right and stay right. He's making himself an easy target as he's moving right onto the punch. Move this way. He's... I know it's hard, but this is what you have to do. Well, as I said, Smith has survived a crisis before. He was on the floor when he won the title against Edwards and he came back and stopped Edwards he can't punch himself but he's going to have to let them go he's standing off a wee bit too much he's, he's, he's giving this guy a wee bit too much respect he has to get in there and assert his authority let a few of the bombs go through more combinations I'll tell you what Dave Campbell fancies this but you can see, see it in his eyes yeah. Well, he knows now that he can hurt Smith. I mean, you know you can hurt somebody. Poof. Doesn't have to do wonders for your game. Smith so far looking to stay out of trouble and doing a pretty decent job of that. He's looking a wee bit... He, he, 
he's too standoffish for some reason. Like it's not normally like Jordan. No, he Jordan comes, comes forward, throws loads of points. He's trying to come on his right hand, but he's just being a wee bit lethargic tonight. I think he's still shaken up from that last round, Dave. I don't think he's fully recovered. He's buying himself some time here. And the shots that he's putting in are well short. But Campbell so far in this round unable to land that big right that shook Smith to his boots in that last round. Campbell's opened himself for an overhand right. What I'd like to see Smith doing is bend the knees and then bang a big right hand over the top. Bend the knees down and bang the big right because Campbell's open for himself. trying to lift their man and right now Smith will take any help he can get good straight left from Campbell oh. and the right comes in again he's moving into it he's making the same mistake again stay move around his own right and stay away from that right hand oh. again and the longer the round goes, the more he seems to be open to it, Dave, as well. Maybe a bit of tiredness creeping in there. Campbell looks fit and full of running. It's Smith's in great shape. You just said as if maybe he left some of this to Jim, but he looks very lethargic tonight. He's got, I've watched him quite a few times. But he looks very slow and very sluggish tonight for some reason. He's not his normal, bounceful self. Well, we said this had the potential to be a good one, Dave. I know the, the crowd here at South End also felt this could be a cracker. I think most people here thought it was going to be going in Georgie Smith's favour, but uh, so far, the early on is definitely with Anthony Campbell. Well, he's a guy that's coming forward. He's a guy that's having success. Just watch this again. Nice wee left and a nice overhand right. Georgie's very open for that. Like, his, his, left, his left hand seems to be down that, that wee bit too low. There's not going to be another good left or good right here. Watch this now. Watch, watch, good left jab, just throws the head right back. He's having great success with this right hand, this guy. So Georgie has to move to his own right to avoid... This gets complicated, but he has to move to his own right to avoid Campbell's right. And it's just not happening for him at the moment. Round four, we're scheduled for ten. At stake, the Southern Area light welterweight title. Smith owns it, Campbell wants it. And it's Campbell in the red with the white trim that continues to set the pace. It's a better little right hand from Smith. He needs something just to raise his spirits a little bit. Campbell pulling in all over him. And that look of focus and determination that Campbell brought into the ring is still with him now. Smith's got to find a way to disrupt this fellow's rhythm. Good right again, again, and the combination follows. Smith absorbed it, but you wonder how much of this he can absorb. Oh, the straight left jab just pops in again from Campbell. Smith has a crack at right hand himself, if only he can get it on. He's throwing it short, it's not hitting the target here. His timing seems to be off completely tonight. And Campbell's boxing a smart fight here as well, Dave. He's, he's not just piling in, he's waiting for his opportunities, he's covering up when he has to. It's been impressive so far from the challenger. Now Smith tries to open up. Lands the right hand, but takes a left in reply. And you do feel that Smith is open. <clears throat> Not a good straight left. Campbell defended every one of those shots and then hit Smith on the counter. Will that's hard to find him more than that. Look, Campbell's oozing with confidence now. George Smith needs a real good round here. He's 
Needs a few good shots, land it just to knock the zap out of this guy. Well, who would have thought, Dave, at the end of round four, in the latter stages of round four, we'd be talking about can Smith survive? But that's what it's looking like at the moment. He's having a rough ride at the minute now, but just one punch can swing it all around. Well, the one punch that swung it in Campbell's favour came in the second. That big right hand, it's been all Campbell ever since. And we're through four rounds. And some anxious faces in the crowd here at South End. Because this fella is giving their local hero everything he can handle. We're going to see another right hand here from Watch this. Jab in, bent down low. That's Jorick Smith wide open for that. Campbell bent the knees and feigned it to go to the body and bang over the right hand. It's a cracking punch, but Smith has to keep coming to his right. I know I keep repeating myself, but he has to. If I can go over there and tell him. How much can he take in of what his cornermen are saying at this stage, Dave? Well, you only need to tell him a couple of things here. Move to his right and get the jab going and get his own right hand going. Two or three things is all he has to do. Keep him at distance, keep moving to his own right. That's all he has to do. Get his head cleared. Box this guy, don't mix it. He's bouncing around on his toes, trying to clear his head. Round five. And Campbell has picked his shots and done everything right so far. a bit better from Smith. Well, that's a start. But Campbell comes back with that snapping left jab. He's trying to dispirit and dishearten his opponent. Oh. Good right hand again. You're just waiting for it to happen every time, aren't you, Dave? Well, he's moving, he's doing all the wrong things, he just can't get it into his head. Move the way he's moving, no, he just can't, he can't seek the good is right. Campbell can't miss when he unloads that right hand. Well, Smith's making it very easy for him, because he's walking into it. Look at him, he's going right now, there's, look, there it is again. enough though, Smith looking a little bit fresher than he did in the last round. And maybe he feels that he's taken the best that Campbell's got to give and he's come through the storm. But he's still not throwing enough in response. You can't keep, keep taking those right hands. Nobody can. The punches aren't vitamins. You don't feel better and stronger. You feel weaker and tireder. The left jab backing Smith up and the combinations on the head again. There's definitely a, a, there's, there's no, no smart spark in, in, in Smith. I mean, I, this is, I quite honestly can say, this is the worst I've seen him so far. He just, he's not the same Georgie Smith as I've watched on three or four occasions. There's something missing. And Campbell is not missing. That left jab has scored well from him in this round. And he's just popping in the right when there's an opening. It's a smart contest that Campbell has put together. His strategy is working perfectly. Everything that Smith does getting cheered by the crowd here in South End, but it's not good enough, Dave. No, but he's not he's not having much success. Those points that he threw there were hitting the gloves and the round the side. That's right. Another good round for the challenger. Well, we said it at the start of the fight, Dave. These area title fights always seem to have a little bit of something special about them, and this one's no exception. Well, these two guys tonight, they both want to get there. They want to get to the top, they want to get the rich rewards that boxing camp sometimes bring. And to do that, 
you have to keep winning, and this is a real stepping stone for any one of these two fighters tonight. If you get this, you can go on. Another big right hand here from, from Campbell. What that Smith's been walking on to all night. Look at that, was flush on the jaw. And he's moving into it, which makes it even, even more potent. You're seeing it here from another angle. Watch this again. Bang. He's eating these right hands. Look at that. That's bang on the money. He has a real good chin, but you can't keep taking those sort of shots. Yeah, something's got to give. And you can see for yourself a lot of anxiety here in the auditorium. As we go into the second half of this 10 round affair, it's not gone according to Georgie Smith's script at all. He's been rocked, he's been hurt, he's been shaken. And on my card, he's a long way adrift on the scoring. That's the bad news. The good news, he's still there, and there is still time for him to turn this thing around. But the way Campbell has boxed so far, he's, he's, he's been in complete control. And Smith now marked under the left eye as well. Need a wee bit more pressure from Smith. He needs to go forward more often, throw plenty of punches. Because when he does that, he has success. And plus, he's not giving his opponent a chance to unload these right hands. And that Look. jab scoring with sickening regularity. And Smith seemingly unable to stop a shot at the moment. And Campbell's holding his left hand so low, Nick. If, if, if Smith could just get one big one on, like just bang like he tried one over. There. He tried there, but there was nothing to it. Smith looking to go low. Try and soften his opponent up with some body shots. There seems to be nothing in his punches at all. Like, he, he doesn't seem, there seems to be no strength. It seems to be just... He's very, very, very lethargic. There's no power or no venom in the punches that Smith's throwing at all. Which gives his opponent more confidence because he's not hurting, uh, hurting his opponent at all. Oh! in real trouble here. No, he's saying he's all right. He's trying to tell Larry O'Connor he's all right, but it's stopped. And Campbell can't believe it. And I don't think Georgie Smith can believe it either. That's controversial, Dave. And Campbell is furious. And there are some boos here. Here it is, watch, watch it here, Chris Hayter, but just see, I think Campbell was hurt more than what he let on this. A, a good left, watch this left, right, oh, lovely, right on the jackpot. He's badly hurt, and Larry Cole is good enough to know, man at his job to know, he was in no fit position to go on, watch this, watch, here it is. Oh, lovely, good night, good night, a ring. What a left hook, and there was no warning, Dave. No warning. But I think the referee's 100% right, because that was a devastating left hook. Devastating. You don't come back from those. Larry called a good man at his job. He's seen that Camel was still very much in a bad state, and that's why. That is why he stopped the fight. Well, I'll tell you something, Dave. Georgie Smith has shown a lot of courage today, because he got quite a beating through five rounds there he's still the champion he's still undefeated but he's going to have to go back to basics if he wants to get much further in this game well as i said earlier on there was something lacking in his punching part earlier on he was very lethargic but he pulled one out of the bag that's what it's all about ladies and gentlemen in the one minute 51 seconds of round six referee larry o'connell has stopped the contest Anthony Campbell being unable to continue. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner and still the Southern Area Light Waterway Champion, Georgie Smith. Well, the cheers mixed with some boos here, I think. Quite a few people in this crowd were very impressed with Campbell. For a fantastic challenge from Anthony Campbell. And he certainly won this crowd over. And he deserves that applause. A real scare for Georgie Smith tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 
the Southern Area Live World of Eight Gold has been presented to Georgie Smith by John Handelaar. Can I now ask you please but to put your hands together it. He still for both owns of these young the Southern boxes. Area Live Anthony World of Eight title. George he Smith, still possesses an undefeated record. That just about wraps things up from South End. What an evening. From Dave McCauley and myself, Nick Halling, hope you've enjoyed it. Join us again soon. Bye-bye for now.